Okay, so I just uh, had a request on how to make a perfect diamond in GIMP. Let's have a look at this. I just made a perfect diamond here. Uh, let me get rid of, uh, I'll set layer to image size right there. You see, I have a perfect diamond. Now, how did I achieve this? Let me delete that layer and start from scratch. Now, remember, when we're dealing with GIMP, we're always deal dealing with raster images. And so some of the tricks we're using, um, well, first of all, let me say there's, uh, we want to have a select tool and perhaps use, you know, make a perfect diamond like that. That's not going to happen. Um, you can use the lasso tool and hold down control shift and go like this. And if you were to use, um, guides for that, you know, for example, you could go like this and have perfect guides. It, it's still going to be problematic. You know, uh, let, let, let's say, for example, uh, let me let me start that again. So I I start here, you know, I get down here, get down there. But you're trying, and you could even do snap to guides, but it still just might get problematic somewhere along the line. That will work. It will work if you're using snap to guides. So you can use the lasso tool, which in GIMP is called the free select tool. And th that's one way of going about it. Okay. Uh, just put your guides wherever you want them and, you know, hold down control shift and you'll, you'll be able to snap it into place. But another way of going about it, which I'd like to recommend is remember that you're using, uh, raster images here. So let me remove the guides. Let's imagine we don't want to use the guides. We're going on a rotation thing. So here we have a square. Now, in order to make a perfect square, I believe we can hold down shift, but it doesn't always work. You know, I'm going to hold on shift here. No, it doesn't work. Was it control? Yeah, right. It, 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 it doesn't, it used to work. Sometimes it works. It doesn't work. There we go. Now I'm holding down shift and it's working, but I don't like it. It doesn't always work. Let me just try to forget about it. Just don't worry about how you made your rectangle. Just, just make a rectangle. Obviously, to make a perfect diamond, we need a perfect square. I'm going to make a new layer here, and it happens to be called something else, but I'll call it square. I'm going to make a new layer here, and I have this rectangle with a select tool. Look over here, tool options. The width, let's make it 700. The height, let's make it 700. There you go. Perfect square. And I can move that wherever I want. See, I'm moving it around right now. Let's fill it in. And where's, oh, uh, yeah, sorry. I'm only using the mouse now, no fancy tools. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. There we go. Filled in. Now, I'm going to go Control-Shift-Alt, or whatever you prefer to do, to remove the selection. And there you go. We have a perfect square, which is ready to become a diamond. On that layer, I'm going to go to Layer Menu and go down to crop to content just to make it easier. So now this layer is only that square. There's no extra space with that square. So now on that same layer, can we use this rotate tool? Here's a rotate tool and I'm going to click on it and a perfect 45 degree angle. Is that what we need? Let me hit rotate to finish. That's it. Now the beauty of this with a raster image, if you're using a uh, high DPI, a high resolution, I can copy and paste it and hit new as many times as I want. And I can hit control V again to paste it again and again and get as many diamonds as I want and I can resize them. I would re recommend starting off with the biggest diamond you need and, uh, you know, you can resize them smaller as needed. And there you go, a bunch of perfect diamonds. Very easy. To review, what we did was we used the select tool to make a perfect square. Okay. We uh, get rid of these. Review very quickly. I used the select tool. And I made it into a perfect square using... 
the tool options over here I just set the size to be 700 by 700 maybe you need 1000 by 1000 whatever you need <clears throat> according to your raster image dimensions and so I, for me uh, you know I did seven seven uh, sorry that's seven that seven hundred by seven hundred not seven thousand by seven thousand. and and then I just filled it in and we'll do it again where, where is it where is it? the uh, fill tool yeah filled it in and now if I wanted to I could even go right here without even cropping the layer and uh, let's go to uh, you know rotate click on the layer yeah. so I can even skip a step and there it is but you see what happens here is it creates a bunch of extra space so that's why I recommended using that other technique where first you crop the layer so you know it becomes small just a square and then you play with it as needed but that's up to you. I'll leave it up to you. And I assume that everyone listening to this is smart enough and has, you know, knows enough. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm here for you. Have a great day.